All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I'm cooking this Tuscan, it's like a Tuscan chicken pasta, okay? So if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel and subscribe. Even if you're on, if you haven't subscribed, definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know. Thank you, I see us try. Thank you, I see us cook, interact with us, because you guys hear from you. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take you through this process of cooking this, and then, uh, then either before or after this video, you'll see how I, uh, me eating, okay? All right, see you in the next part. All right, all right, all right. All right, so here we're starting off. Okay, so I am sauteing um, some chicken in a pan. These are chicken breasts I seasoned with. Um, there's, I believe it's a McCormick seasoning. It's a Himalayan pink salt seasoning. And then I use the kicking chicken seasoning. And I believe that's a, that's a, Weber seasoning or maybe it's McCormick too don't give me the lies kicking chicken um and then Italian seasoning and I'm gonna saute these um on both sides usually I will season the chicken before I put it in the pan but this time I was just you know probably being a little lazy so I seasoned it as it was in the pan um but yeah so flip these over season on both sides cook them a little bit you don't have to cook them all the way through because you're gonna put them in the oven in a little bit. Okay, so after you've cooked your chicken, you um, take that out and put it in the pan that you're going to bake it in. And now you're going to melt a whole stick of butter. It doesn't have to be a whole stick, but I'm a little, little extra and I like a whole stick when I make any sort of Alfredo sauce. So going to melt a whole stick of butter here in the same pan that you sauteed your chicken because you want all that flavor. And you're going to add yourself some minced garlic or, or you can do fresh garlic, whatever you prefer. I'm going to let that butter melt down and then we'll add some stuff to it once it melts down. All right, now that our butter is basically melted down, we're gonna add some heavy whipping cream. I don't measure, so I don't know. And this, this I will say that, that I think that was like a quart maybe, but it was not filled. It wasn't all the way filled. I had used it in some other recipes. I'd say it's about I say it's about three quarters of the way full. Um, and then you bring your heavy whipping cream to a boil, and then you want to add your cheeses. So I added a mixture. Um, it's a private selection shredded cheese mixture and it um, has Romano, Parmesan, and Asiago cheese in there. I just absolutely love 
using Asiago cheese in my Alfredo sauce. Um, Parmesan is like the standard, right? But um, and, and even Romano, a lot of recipes have that in there, but I also love Asiago. I'm also putting a half a block of cream cheese in here. Um, as I stated in the video where I actually ate the food, um, cream cheese is a game changer. I feel like when it comes to making Alfredo, it just really makes it uh, that much more creamier. And it helps with the reheatability, okay? That's what I'm looking for. I want it to be as creamy as the day I made it when I heat it up again, okay? So we're going to um, continue to cook this down, let it um, come to a boil, um, and mix those cheeses in. And as you'll see here in a second, I am also going to add some more seasoning to this. I mean, it already has a flavor from where I cooked the chicken, but listen, you can never have too many seasons. And I, I honestly like to season at every level because somehow, you know, the season gets lost. So you got to season at every level. Um, and trust me, it is good. And usually it's not too much. I think the only time it'll get to be too much is if you use a lot of salt. But I don't cook with a whole lot of salt. So um, there's that. So cooking it down. Okay, here I'm going to, I added probably about three-fourths of this jar. I probably could have put the whole thing in there. Um, these are sun-dried tomatoes in some sort of oil. Um, I absolutely love sun-dried tomatoes, and I, I love the oil that it's in. Um, so you can put as little or as much as you want. Um, I just, I love the flavor of it, so um, I put a whole lot in there. I should, I honestly should just add the jar because there's literally not that much left in there. Um, and then here in a bit, we're going to add some spinach as well, so... Okay, so we've got um, our sun-dried tomatoes in there, and then we've added some spinach. We're also, at this point, I'm going to season some more, so I put some black pepper, which I didn't use on the chicken originally, but I'm going to put some black pepper in here. I'm going to put some salt, um, and again, I told you I don't really cook with a whole lot of salt. Um, now, salt I probably won't use at every level, um, just because it can be a bit much. Um, I do believe that that was that Himalayan pink salt seasoning that I have um and my apologies I'm blanking right now it's either a Weber or a McCormick seasoning uh, but it's really good it's got it's Himalayan pink salt but there's some other things in there too like I want to say it's garlic in there too um I used um a body of all purpose seasoning I believe and then Italian seasoning um and then that kicking chicken seasoning and so here I am just seasoning the sauce and then I'm going to add the remainder of my spinach in there
All right, and then once we've made our sauce, we're going to just pour that on top of your chicken in the dish that you're baking it in. I baked um, this at 375, and it was about, I'd say about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I also added onions on top of the chicken. You can, it, the recipe that I originally saw did not have that in there, but I like onions. And I would have added mushrooms if they had them, but they didn't have them. They didn't have diced or sliced one at sliced ones at the store but um yeah so we're gonna cover this up put it in the oven like i said 375 um for at least maybe 30 minutes to 30 minutes to an hour i did i think i did between 45 and an hour so now for this part you can use whatever i'm sure it'll, it'll go over any noodles that you want oh excuse me um i yawned y'all <laughs> um so here i am melting um it was about four tablespoons of butter um and i'm gonna put some more minced garlic because you just can never have enough and then i use thin spaghetti noodles you can use whatever noodles you want um i'm sure even penne noodles which is usually my go-to but i said i'll go ahead and get the spaghetti uh you want to melt your butter down melt the garlic and then you're going to add your pasta back to, so this is the pan i cooked the pasta in save a little bit of that pasta water and then uh drain the rest out melt down your butter with some garlic and then add your pasta back to this pan um, and stir that around um, and let it get all that that flavoring then you're going to add a little bit of your pasta water to um, the pasta I think I did at maybe like four tablespoons of the pasta water um, that I that you know you boiled the noodles in and then I tossed that around let it cook for a little bit and then I also seasoned the pasta with salt and pepper so you, you'll see that
All right, and then we're just gonna plate it up here. Uh, now you, I cut that part out, but my chicken tried to escape, or maybe I just threw it on a plate unintentionally. Um, but you can, you know, have your pasta as a bed, and then you add your chicken and sauce on top, and then I uh, sprinkled some shaved Parmesan cheese on top, and you'll see the finished product here. Um, I hope you, if you make it, I hope you enjoy it. All right.